Anthony Christopher of Andover, the Eagle Tribune football show offensive player of the week. Uh, Anthony, was that the best uh, game you ever had last week? Nine carries, 126 yards, three TDs? I guess you could say that, yeah. It's been my, um, been my best game so far, I guess. What's it like uh, during the course of the game when things are really going your way? You're getting, breaking some big runs, you're, you're scoring, are you totally fired up during the game? Absolutely. You know, you got to get those sidelines uh, all fired up. You got to keep everyone focused on the game. You don't want to stray away. Even if you're, uh, even if you're up, you know, you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. You know, you could lose it. So we always got to make sure we got to keep that same mentality. We got to play every play. I'm not talking about the sidelines, Big Anthony Christopher. I'm talking about you. How fired up were you during the game? I was, I was very fired up. You know, I got to keep myself focused. Uh, you know, I don't want to uh, veer off track. You know, I just want to do my job. I want to uh, incorporate everything I can to the team. So I need to make sure I stay focused and firing up is the best way for me. Did, did you ever expect this, uh, Anthony? You, you were more uh, a receiver up until late last year. Now all of a sudden you, you're among the top backs and, and the MVC take us through the transition. I know, actually, uh, leading up to my high school career, you know, I actually did play uh, running back. So it wasn't too bad of a, wasn't too bad of a change. Um, so, you know, just worked hard in practice, you know, got to stay focused. You know, so the transition wasn't uh, too hard, you know, just got to, uh, readjust to actually taking more hits than you would as a receiver, so you know it wasn't too bad. Talked to three different coaches on the way in. We said we we're going to talk to Anthony Christopher. What do we need to know about him? First coach, one of the hardest workers in the team. Second coach, he's the hardest worker in the team. Third coach, he might be the hardest worker I I've ever coached. <laughs> Where does the work ethic come from? Uh, you know, just my mentality. I've grown up with uh, my whole life. You know, just don't want to take anything less than I can uh, put forward. So you know, it's how I how I how I approach everything, I guess. How tough is it to play? Uh, first of all, Anthony, how, how big are you? I'm 5'5", 145 pounds. So you're short and you're not, some guys are jacked at 5'5", <laughs> 170. you got the two strikes against you. How Definitely. do you uh, deliver like you do with those two strikes? Well, you know, I mean, what I lack and I guess you could say I make up with speed and agility, well, which I'm, I'm thankful for. So, you know, I just want to, I want to go forward, you know, I want to put my best effort in. And you know, obviously, the cliche practice makes perfect. You know, I work in my, I work hard in practice, so you know, it really shows off, pays off in the games, I guess. O over the years, have you had people say, "Hey, Anthony, maybe football isn't your sport. You're a great athlete. Why don't you do soccer? Why don't you focus more on, on track or, or something?" Have people tried to uh, steer you away from football? I uh, definitely, you know, but I try to try to zone that one out. You know, I say I gotta, I gotta show people wrong, I guess. Done a heck of a job doing that. Big game, Central Catholic in the uh, D1 North uh, semifinals. What are your thoughts on uh, Central Catholic, one of the real powerhouses in uh, Massachusetts football? You know, we, last six times we've played them, you know, we've come in with a loss. They did come out on us, uh, beat us on our home turf this year. But, you know, we're fired up. We're focused. We're working extremely hard in practice. we got to stay focused on that end goal. And, you know, if we uh, play sound as a team and everyone's uh, on the same page, you know, we can get there. Confident young man, no one's going to tell Anthony Christopher he can't do it. Curry of Central Catholic Football, our uh, Eagle Tribune uh, Football Show Defensive Player of the Week. It's the MM Show, Mike Muldoon and Mike Mercury. Uh, Mike, huge uh, day on the defensive side of the ball, two sacks, uh, eight uh, tackles. Take us through that uh, Lawrence High uh, first round uh, quarterfinal uh, D1 North playoff game last week. Yeah, it was a great game for all of us. We uh, really uh, stuck together as defense and made every play we needed to. Is Lawrence mean it? Is it just a, another MVC team, or, or is there anything a little special where you're uh, so close to each other uh, down the down the street here? I think it's just another MVC team. Every other, te every other team is just the same. Is, is Andover just another team as well? Yeah, I think so. In, in, well, it, I believe. Does uh, does coach preach that, or is that just uh, Mike Mercury's uh, individual opinion? Uh, I don't really know. I think it's just me. It's, I think every other team is the same. Have you always been a linebacker, Mike? No, I played uh, DB last year a little bit. Uh, and, and how'd you hear about the, the move to linebacker? Uh, I just got bigger and gained a lot of weight this offseason. Yeah, a solid kid. What, what's the height and weight, Mike? Uh, around like 6 feet, 190. 
Are, are you a, a big uh, weight room kid? Uh, yeah, I play baseball too, so I got to tone it down. Right. What's your favorite sport? Uh, I don't know. I like them the same right now. Oh, come on, my. Uh, what are the emotions going into, into the uh, end of a game, bitter rival? Uh, you guys have certainly got the best of it in, in recent matchups, but uh, usually big crowds and, and, and big tradition. Yeah, we're going for the seventh in a row. So, be good. Does that mean a lot to you? Yeah, seven in a row against one team, that's good. Did you have any take? Uh, a lot of people thought it might ultimately boil down to, you know, you're going to play the games, obviously, but uh, it might ultimately boil down to the North uh, St. John's and, uh, and, and you folks in the finals, that they were stunned by uh, Everett. What was your take on that? I was just happy we got home field every game. Playoffs, keep going, keep winning. Part of the uh, Lowell connection, you and, and Brett Edwards, a couple of real good ones from, uh, from Lowell. Do, any extra pressure on you, Mike, your dad, Mike Sr., one of the all-time greats in the MVC with a, with a brilliant, brilliant career at Chelmsford High uh, back in the day? No, not really. You just go out there and play. Did, did you always ha have the talent? If I saw your uh, tapes in the Pop Warner Leagues and stuff, would I be saying, oops, he's, he's got the goods? Uh, I don't know. I think I was a little average. I uh, stepped it up. What's uh, what, what more to you? You had a, a nice 61 yard uh, TD reception. You had the two sacks. What, what means more to. Uh, I, I like the defense more. I like sacks. It's better. Now, are you a captain uh, this year, Mike? Yeah, I am. Oh, Central's tradition, you got a lot of great uh, seniors, a terrific senior class. What would it mean to you to be, uh, when they made the announcement that you were one of the seniors? Yeah, it was great. It was great. It meant a lot. And uh, as uh, in, uh, talking to Coach DeFiore, he said, uh, Mike's the nicest guy you'll ever meet, but he's a man of few words. What, uh, how is a, is a kid who is quiet by nature, how, how do you try to lead uh, lead the, uh, the Raiders? Lead by example. I feel like just play on the field. Leave it all on the field. Setting quite an example, dominating two-way player, Mike. Thank <laughs> you.